Hello everybody, Kitin here and today I will be filming another updated collection video. Um, yes, that's part of my series of my updated collection for, um, well, for the year so far. So um, for today, if you noticed, um, before I did just individual groups like Infinite was one video and Seventeen was one video, but this one will be a combined video just because I don't really have a lot of things for these two groups. So um, these two groups are what I call my legendary groups. They are groups that I, well, I have a very soft space in my heart for them and I'll explain why but um, I don't really collect them as I would like to collect them more but their stuff are harder to find since they are older groups and these groups are 2pm and FD Island so we'll go through the we go through 2pm first, the albums, the very few things that I have on hand and their photo cards and whatnot stuff and um, then we'll move on to FD Island so for 2 p.m. the first thing I have is this one, the um, 2 p.m. first concert, Don't Stop, Can't Stop. This is from my hottest photo book. I did an unboxing of this on my channel and I will put it in the card somewhere up there. So yes, um, this was a really, really lucky find for me. And then the CD is here at the back, the uh, concert making DVD. I think there's another one that comes with this, but basically it's more of like behind the scenes of the concert. Please ignore one of our dogs whining, if you can hear that. But yeah, I am so happy and so very lucky to have this. And yeah, 2PM just made a comeback and it was a really good one. I still haven't received my albums yet, but I really, really can't wait because yeah, so 2PM has a very special place in my heart because um, Look at Juno, oh my gosh. They were the group that got me back into K-pop after me being not into K-pop for like 10 years or so. And I owe it all to Junho because I liked his acting. So I checked him out, I checked his dramas out, then I checked 2PM out and then the rest is history. So let's move on to the next item that I have. I think this is upside, this is not upside down, it's not the right side up. So yes, I do have 2PM's Gentleman's Game monograph. So um, yeah, I'm just so lucky that this wasn't out of stock or anything and I got this, I think, unsealed. So that was kind of amazing. I did an unboxing of this, so again, I will put the card up there, but yeah, they look just so fine. I mean, come on, look at that. Yeah, so I love 2PM very, very much, as you can probably tell. And um, this comeback, um, the must comeback, it was just like a dream come true for me because I never thought in my wildest years that I would be able to get a 2PM comeback with all six members, but hey, um, they proved that you can come back. You can make a really good comeback. And I have one more item. So this is the only um, solo album of Junho's that I have. I do want to get more of his solo albums in the future. But th I got this one because this was my favorite one. Um, my favorite album because it's very, it's very artsy. Like the tracks and everything, the songs, and even the photo book. It was just stunning. I mean... Come on, Junhua is very stunning, and the way the photo book is like put together, and the uh, the shots are incredibly stunning and artistic, and I absolutely love it. So, yeah. So basically, I only really have three items, so we can now move on to the photo cards. Okay, so here we have the 2 p.m. section of my binder. It starts off this binder, so I just have a divider with a logo on it. So these are inclusions from the Gentleman's Game monograph. So you have Junke there and then Nikun, if you can see it. There you go. Then you have Taekyeon and Young over there. You know what? Let's try to move this over here. Okay, I think that's better, maybe. And then we have Jun Ha, and then we have Chun Sung, and of course you can't see the photo cards over there but those are the photo cards for the season's greetings 2020 
which I got. It had a planner, um, stickers, and um, hold on. So it also came with this calendar thing. At this, at the time, it was just Junho, Nikon, and Chensung. So I made good use of it. And hold on, there's one more thing, but it's here. In I actually use it. So you can hear me struggling. Hold on. Okay. So it came also with this thing, this canvas pouch thingy that I actually use for my other things. Um, and then this is a clear card that came, it's a transparent card. It came from Junho's canvas album. And then these postcards are from the season's greetings as well. And then this postcard is from Junho's canvas album. So yeah, that's basically it for the 2 p.m. section of my binder and that actually ends the uh, 2 p.m. section of this video. It's not a lot and I do hope to expand it in the future but it's not really a big priority. I mean whenever they have a comeback I will get it but it's not like a super big priority not like the way I collect like infinite and 17. So yes so this is the FT Allen section of the binder. Um, I have a very very special place in my heart for FD Island as well. They are a group that I also got into early on into my um, rediscovering K-pop phase. So yeah, anyway. So this and um, some of the older albums that I have have a very interesting story behind it which I will see a little bit later. Okay, so I think it's starting to rain outside and I switched phones so this is now going at 60 frames. I hope it's okay. Anyway, so this was, these were done, were published in the time when there were no photo cards yet and albums and stuff like that. And the very interesting thing about these albums is that somebody reached out to me on WordPress. They liked uh, my posts about K-pop and stuff like that. And they wanted basically to send me these old albums that they don't need anymore. So yeah, shout out to you. I am so grateful for this. And it came all the way from Europe. So that was kind of amazing. So yeah. Anyway, let's get into the other album. But yes, this is their um, mini album, their jump up mini album. So it's based, there was no like photo cards back then. They did, they did have this like random um, member thing over here, which was like a calendar thing and it's 2009, wow. So yeah, and then it came with this kind of photo book. It was like, um, like a folder type concept thing. And then I also have these ones. Um, okay, so let's move out there. So I have the Swan Memory in FD Island. So it just opened up like this. Um, yes, and um, I know this is going to be a little bit controversial because of the whole scandal with their leader and everything, but I support the remaining members of FD Island no matter what. And it's kind of hard to do like um, flip throughs of the photo book because I don't exactly memorize where that guy is um, in the photo book. So that's kind of a hard thing to do. Okay, this doesn't want to go in. Hold on. Why do you want to go in, my friend? Okay, so we're just gonna leave that there because it doesn't want to go in. And then I do have this one. Oops, sorry about that. I do have this FT Island double date, FT Island and their unit, FT triple. So one date, two date, it comes out like this and it has basically two CDs and the booklet is inside and everything. Again, um, these albums were done in the time where there were no photo cards or you know, album inclusion. Okay, so these albums are kind of precious to me because I did buy them in 29, well, these two I bought in 2019 in Myeongdong when I went to South Korea. So here is the um, What If, um, yes, the What If album. And it's very beautiful. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. Look at the packaging, look at that. And then 
this track list was just amazing and i absolutely love the fact that they have this thing okay are we on a safe page yes we are on a safe page okay sorry about that hold on there were like okay so but i didn't like this like why would you put the cd in the middle why but anyway this thing it actually you can there's like a message there if you can see it so that's kind of amazing but yeah i absolutely love this concept again i have a hard time like flipping through the photo book because of he who must not be named but let's try and see is that yeah here we have honky and then where are the um more summery ones let me like this one oh my gosh that is just amazing anyway so that's that one and then here is what is the truth this had like a more rock vibe to it and i absolutely loved it i absolutely loved it when they started making um just like rock music instead of like pop rock take out of love take me now those are just amazing titles and um that's the cd let me try to look for a safe photo i mean come on look at Dejan there my gosh honky oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I actually do want a copy of Honky's Do and Do, his solo album. And then I did get Zapping, so this is their, was their last album before they all enlisted, is it? Upside down, okay, there. So it was their seventh mini album. It was a really, really good one. And um, yeah, so there's a CD and at this point, there were still four because Sung Hyun left after this comeback. But yeah, I love them so much and I will support them no matter what. And I have one more thing. Yeah, okay. I will support them no matter what. I also got myself a copy of Lee Jae Jin's um, Japanese album, Scene 27, which had the wonderful track, Love Like the Films. That was an amazing track. So yeah, that's basically just it. I normally don't buy Japanese releases, but I just couldn't help myself. So yeah, that's that. All right, here is the FD Island section of my binder. It's also not that much. So I basically just kept who I pulled and I'm so annoyed at this photo card because it's actually scratched, but it came sealed. It came in a sealed, um, what do you call that? Album. But yes, so, and Jaijin, I think Jaijin is discharging already at the time that I'm filming this. So that's kind of cool. And Honky is back already. So I do love FT Island. I know FT Island primarily because of Honky. I saw him in You Are Beautiful, never connected him to like K-pop until, well, before before I kind of got out of K-pop, I already knew about FT Island and I liked their songs. But um, FT Island is also one of the first few groups that I discovered when I got back into K-pop. I was like, you know, just let's just pick up where I left off after but yeah, but I already because I already knew and heard of FD Island before, so yeah, it just came naturally, and I absolutely love them. I know they're just it's just Honky, Jijin, and Minwon now, and yeah, that scandal thing that happened with their former member and leader, who we never talk about, but that was a very, very dark moment in. The history of prima donnas and ft island but i support them even though sung hyun is no longer in the group i still support him also whatever he wants to do so there so i have two sung hyuns because he likes popping up in albums and then i have this one minwan and jaejin over there um so yeah so the jaejin is from zapping and so is the sung hyun card and then where's the truth i got sung hyun and um their summer album one of their summer albums this is where it's from this min one so these cards are from these clear concept card thingies are from zapping so i have jjin and i have min one and then i have this 
Jaijin um, both card thingy from his Japanese solo I buy as Hongi and Jaijin and then this from one is from what is this what is this album called what if I think yeah so Sunghyun is over there and then I just kept the posters over here so I believe these were member specific posters let me see why did I keep it here hold on I think these were member specific okay so this one was Jjin yep this one was Jjin's and then I think this one was Hongki's hold on let me just put this back let me get this one okay that's a struggle okay so I think this is Hongki's which is why I kept it. Yes, I can see it. Yes, this is definitely Honky's poster, which is why I kept it. Let's see. All right, yeah. So basically, okay, let's just put this back in. Yeah, so aside from that, I do have one more thing to show and then we'll be done with the FD Island section of this video and we'll end the video. Okay, so the last item that I have for FT Island is my four, my MOA four member signed um, zapping album. So it's signed by all the members, Hongki, this is Min Wans, by the way, uh, Jae Jin and Sung Yoon before, before he left the group. So yeah, I'm extremely lucky to have had this. I need to fix the wrapping. But yeah, I'm extremely lucky and I'm extremely proud as a prima donna that I have this, it is like I don't think anybody would be able to find it any well, I don't know, maybe maybe you'd be able to find it somewhere, but I don't think it's common to find it. I think it'll be really rare. So I'm just really happy that I have it. Okay, so on this note, I'd like to well well basically that is the end of this joint 2 p.m. and FT Island collection update video now for this one I don't know how much it's going to grow for this year because they're not a priority as compared to the others definitely 2 p.m.s will grow but I'm not sure about FD Island but you know I still love them and I still have some key pieces that I do want to get um, yeah so anyway I made it joint because there's not a lot so I hope that you I hope that you still enjoyed these videos, even this video, even though it was to um, to um, separate groups. Um, do you have any group? Because the theme here is basically these are the groups that got me back into K-pop. If you had a similar situation like me, where you got out of, out of K-pop and then you went back into it, what were the groups that made you come back? I'm just really curious, and. Um, yeah do you have any other like older like second gen bands or groups or k bands that you do like um go ahead and recommend them to me and put them in the comments below i'd love to hear your thoughts and you know how you guys maybe got into k-pop or you know like which groups got you into k-pop or got you back into k-pop and the like anyway so basically this is it for the video i hope that you enjoyed i had a lot of fun looking at this i hope you did too um yeah so i do post content every week so if you do like the content that i make go ahead and click that notification bell and go ahead and click that subscribe button and i will see you in the next video bye